might be noticing some new white markings at some railroad crossings in Pinellas County. Our traffic anchor Sarah Finney driving Tampa Bay forward looking into the purpose of these changes. Well, James, it all comes down to safety and soon drivers all across the Bay Area will see these so-called dynamic envelopes at crossings. This is all part of FDOT's Operation Stride. We gave you a heads up about it back in December 2019. These white connecting X's are meant to catch your eye and keep you out of the danger zone near the tracks. Anything within that dynamic envelope can be hit when a train is passing. Eight crossings in Pinellas County are getting this treatment and the work has already finished at four of them, including Park Boulevard and 58th Street North in Pinellas Park. It's not just for motorists, it's also um, bicyclists and pedestrians. We want to let everybody know, do not get near that dynamic envelope. It's for your safety. That's the clearance that the train needs to pass safely through the area. And so we're hoping this really makes a difference. The rest of the work in Pinellas County is expected to wrap up next week, but expect to see these more often at railroad tracks in the coming weeks, months, and years. FDOT has a goal to get 4,000 done by March 2022. Of course, we do want to make your commute more safe, so you can email us or call us with any issues you see on your way to work or to school. Our tip line is always open for your suggestions. We look into every single one. DF.